Did you know that the Honor Magic 4 Ultimate was one of the best camera smartphones when it came out? You probably didn't because Honor doesn't have the same brand pull as companies like Samsung and Apple. This has never stopped them from releasing amazing phones though. The Honor Magic 5 Pro is back with a bang and is looking to make some waves. The competing phones are the Xiaomi 13 Pro, Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra and the Google Pixel 7 Pro in the Android Camera Phone Showdown. We would also like to thank Aohi for sponsoring this video. Let the facts speak. Just a heads up, we switched back to the Leica Vibrant mode of the Xiaomi 13 Pro. The first photo is a nice scene of the Technical University of Berlin with plenty of colors. As I've said in our recent videos, smartphone camera technology is peaking, which means that almost all flagship phones have reached a certain performance level. 4 points to Xiaomi for a very good photo, and the rest will get 3 each due to slight haze on Samsung's, saturation on Honor's, and darkness on Google's photo. The second image was where Honor's flagship blew me away. I just really like how everything looks in this photo, especially how it's really easy to see everything separately. I think the S23 Ultra's photo looks a little nicer and easier on the eye than the Pixel 7 Pro's photo, and Xiaomi's inconsistency with their software has shown itself pretty visibly here, as their photo has high contrast and saturation. The last image is a pass all around, as all have good detail and have managed to not mess up with the dynamic range even with the tricky angle. Indoor photos are even trickier though, with less and artificial lighting. None of these are perfect by any means, but I'd say they're all good enough to get 3 points, with the exception of the Xiaomi 13 Pro because their photo is just too dark. The same trend continues in the second photo, and honestly, this is starting to highlight my biggest issue with Xiaomi phones that I find myself often repeating. Software is the most important thing in smartphone photography, and it shows. 3 points each for the Galaxy and the Magic, 2 points for the Pixel, and 1 point for the 13 Pro. We do finally see Google picking up the slack when the subject is close to the camera though, as this photo looks better than the other indoor shots, showcasing natural colors and dimming down the yellow tones on my skin. Samsung and Honor come after, with Xiaomi once again being too dark. At night, we noticed a small annoyance with the Pixel. Even though we took multiple photos, the focus didn't adjust properly when we wanted to take a look at me, I'm a photographer type shot. This is kind of niche, but it should still have worked. The Xiaomi 13 Pro does what it always does in shots like this, courtesy of their 1 inch sensor. Samsung and Honor couldn't adjust the focus perfectly, but still did it better than Google. The second image is harder to analyze, but the importance is in the details. The S23 Ultra's photo is my favorite as it looks the most cinematic out of the three, with the main focus being on the chairs and the table in front of the restaurant. The Magic 5 Pro's photo is similar, as the other two are also fine, but have brightened up pretty much everything in the frame. The last image was where it was completely dark, except the light coming from the church. This is a good example of Google's night software putting in work when there's nothing moving in the frame. Honor and Xiaomi stumbled a little here, as Samsung completely messed up the photo. Well, it seems that Google is slowly losing the big edge it had when it first came out. It's still a great camera phone, don't get me wrong, it just needs to fix the darkness inconsistencies it has in the Pixel 8. Honor was the one I was really interested in though, and thankfully, their main camera has delivered. Now, let's take a look at how they take ultra wide photos. Straight off the bat, I love Xiaomi's photo. It's soft, but detailed with good colors. Samsung is also close, but pay attention to my shoes and pants to see the difference. The artificial sharpness is what puts it behind the 13 Pro. The other two are once again darker and lacking color accuracy. The next one has the S23 Ultra ahead of the competition with much more visible details. The Magic 5 Pro and the Pixel 7 Pro take 3 points each, as the Xiaomi 13 Pro takes 2 because of my head being slightly warped from this angle. Indoors, this is a hard one. The Pixel has one of the best cameras when it comes to paying attention to and preserving details, and this is visible if you look firstly at my hair, then above my head and to the right. The other three kept my face a bit brighter, but as a whole, I will go with the Pixel even though none of them are perfect. The second indoor Door shot is one with no clear victor. They all have their positives and negatives, but the Magic 5 Pro has the most consistent photo based on skin tone and shadows. Ultra wide at night is never going to be easy, as you can see for yourself. Samsung and Honor still did a decent job though, with the other two getting one point less. When it comes to the church though, Google once again was able to take in the most light and give us a usable image. Honor gets 2 points here, as Samsung and Xiaomi both get 1. What I said about wide cameras doesn't really ring true for ultra wide. I feel that ultra wide cameras won't get to a top level anytime soon, because they aren't used as often as a main camera, and the manufacturers have to keep the costs down. 
Well, speaking of manufacturers, how would you like to be able to manufacture your own charging station? Say hello to the cyberpunk theme Eternal City, the world's first do-it-yourself space theme charging station. That's right gamers, this is exactly what you need for your collection. It is primarily designed for Apple products because it has MagSafe, but it also works with any Android device that has wireless charging. Without further ado, let's check out the contents of the box. As soon as you open it up, you are greeted with an amazing sight of futuristic wonders. At the bottom of the box are all the cables and screws you need to put your personal spaceship together, and just like it says, this is the future of wireless charging. Now it's time for us to set it up to see how the process goes. By the way, this video isn't sped up, it's just that Casper is actually faster than the Flash. <laughs> Jokes aside, it took us around 30 minutes to set it up, which isn't that long considering you only need to do it once. What I really like about this product is that you can charge two devices at the same time because the part right here is also a power bank, meaning you can remove it and take it with you to continue charging. They also paid close attention to the details, like the lights under the power bank imitating the controls of a spaceship, and as a gaming nerd myself, these types of details make me even more attached to the theme. If you want to buy one, you can check the link in the description. The product is officially on Kickstarter at a starting price of 169 USD, so give it a look and let them know what you think about their product. So now, how about some portraits? What a beautiful photo to start off with. The Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra usually takes great portraits, so no surprise that they start off pretty strong. The Honor Magic 4 Pro also looks pretty good, with the Xiaomi 13 Pro coming after. The Pixels photo is just not that good, getting two points. Next one, Backstreet Boys in the house, shown once again the best on the Galaxy and the Magic. Both the 13 Pro and the Pixel have detection errors, giving them 2 points each. We listened to you, so the last outdoor photo is taken with the optical zooms of the Samsung and Xiaomi flagships. The other two don't allow you to use a telephoto lens in this mode, so we use their 2 times digital zoom. We think that Xiaomi has done something right with this feature, as their portrait photos actually look like DSLR magic when taken with the zoom lens. The S23 Ultra's photo also looks great though, so full marks for both. Honor will get 3 as the Pixel once again underperforms here, getting 2 points. Indoors will start off with the first 3 getting 4 points each, with Google dropping 1 due to lesser quality. Image number 2 goes the way of Samsung and Honor as Xiaomi along with Google get 3 points each with slightly worse details and detection. Lastly, here is the optical zoom portrait photo of the Galaxy and the 13 Pro. Even though the details are the most visible on the Galaxy, you can still tell the photo was shot with a mobile phone. Xiaomi is really impressing me with this feature and I hope they improve it even further in the 13 Ultra. In a really dark environment, Honor starts off well, at least better than the others. Samsung photo is a bit pale with Xiaomi messing up the colors and Google not being able to give us the quality that we deserve. Next up, Xiaomi is just showing off with that one inch sensor, a great photo. The rest also look decent, just not on the same level. Lastly, the Galaxy and the 13 Pro as usual just look better with the optical zoom. The Pixel's photo is too dark and the Magic's photo is very yellow. So regardless of the points, I will say one thing, the Xiaomi 13 Pro definitely is the best portrait photo phone out there when you use their optical zoom lens. Unfortunately though, their software is not that good, so more often than not, you'll get better results with the Galaxy S23 Ultra if you're not using that optical zoom. Videos in the house. The iPhone is not here, so it's time for the S23 Ultra to shine. What I am noticing though is that the Magic 5 Pro looks really crisp, something that I wasn't expecting. Just give me a chance to get close to the camera and the result is a pleasant surprise. First place. The other three are close in quality, but there are slight inconsistencies compared to the Honor flagship, such as the footage being a little dark or my skin being slightly red on the side of the Xiaomi flagship. Ultra wide is, as always, another story. What I noticed was that the Pixel 7 Pro has to adjust its focus a couple of times while I'm getting closer, which is a minus. I'm just amazed, but at the Honor Magic 5 Pro, it's just way better outdoor videos than the rest. The Galaxy takes second place here, the 13 Pro takes third, and the Pixel 7 takes fourth due to both quality as well as autofocus issues. We then move indoors. Actually curious to see if there will be big differences due to there being less light, but the clarity looks to be fine. Honor continues to impress with clear and crisp footage, and when the subject is close to the camera, I become even more impressed. My face easily looks the best, as the other three are also decent. The same apparently goes for shooting ultra wide videos indoors. Xiaomi's footage looks darker than the others, which should be noticed. Google's video also focuses in and out once again. Right in front of the camera, I must say that the Honor easily gets another 4 
four points. Samsung and Xiaomi get three each as Google gets two. At night, Xiaomi is the best performer. It also controls the street and car lights better than the others. Google and Honor get three points each with a decent video, and Samsung gets two by being slightly off focus. The ultra wide video at night is definitely problematic for all devices, but the Xiaomi 13 Pro does a pretty good job regardless. Honor gets two here with a decent video, and the other two get one due to very high amounts of noise. 8K will possibly become a staple in phones in the next couple of years, but the Pixel 7 Pro doesn't have it just yet. The Honor Magic 5 Pro apparently didn't include it either. The Xiaomi 13 Pro's 8K quality is really nice, but it's not stabilized that well, so 3 points. The Galaxy S23 Ultra on the other hand has the best 8K on the market right now, with stabilized footage as well as good quality, so full marks. All I have to say is... Wow, Honor has really done something special here as this is the first time in a long time that I've seen a Chinese phone pull out video quality like this. Can they keep it going in a zoom category though? Check out the optical zooms of each device, they're all fairly close except for the pixel with 5 times. Moving forward, they all look fine and are able to capture the surroundings well in the first few levels until we hit that magical 10 times level. The pixel looks pretty solid, the magic also looks nice, albeit a little too sharp. 20 times though is where they start to fall apart, of course, except for the Galaxy S23 Ultra. I'm actually impressed with the Pixel 30 times because it still preserves some quality. All in all, the Galaxy takes first, the Pixel takes second, the Magic is third, and the 13 Pro is fourth. When it comes to stabilization, they're quite similar while walking, with the S23 Ultra having a slight advantage over the others as they put a lot of work into improving this feature. While running though, not only can the Galaxy shoot with a way higher resolution than the others, it is really stable. The Pixel takes second place here, with the Magic being third and the 14 Pro once again being fourth with problematic software when there's a lot of movement. Front camera time! Until a phone with a better one steps up, Samsung flagships just take out the competition. The rest look good, but Google, not so much, which is kind of disappointing considering that the Xiaomi 13 Pro really doesn't have a good front camera. The points will be the same for the second photo as well, which is an outdoor portrait photo as Samsung pushes forward with better detail and color. Indoors, Xiaomi and Samsung look really similar. Honor is right there as well, but the beard is a little out of focus. Google made the skin tone quite red, getting two points. A portrait photo indoors reveals that they're actually quite close. Nothing special though, so three points each. At night, we have to give props to the autofocus feature of the S23 Ultra's front camera. The rest are only good enough to get two points each. A portrait shot at night has varying results, but I prefer the Pixel. The 13 Pro was a close second with three points, the Galaxy messed up the focus as the camera was a bit closer than usual, and the magic is just worthy of one point. Shooting a video with the front camera was actually horrendous, because I noticed how Xiaomi still hasn't been able to fix this problem if you're not right in front of the camera. Regardless, the Galaxy and the Pixel look really good, but of course, the Galaxy looks a little better with the front camera as usual. Hey guys, we're back with another mic quality comparison. In this video, we have the trusty Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, and there's actually a huge camera update that we got, so we're dying to try it out. Over here is the brand new Honor Magic 5 Pro, all the way from China. Their previous phones were really good, but they had some software issues, so let's see if they figured those out. Here we have the star of our previous video, the Xiaomi 13 Pro. We're hoping that the Ultra is also going to be really nice with upgraded software, but for now, we have to make do with this one. And on this side is the trusty Android phone, the Google Pixel 7 Pro. It's a pretty good camera phone, so we're going to see how it matches up against the newer models. The mic of the Magic 5 Pro isn't that great. I was impressed with what Xiaomi had done with the mic for their newest flagship, and I continue to be impressed as the sound is crystal clear and very good for recording videos. There are other things that they are very good at as well though, and that's shooting in slow motion. Not only can the 13 Pro shoot in 480 frames in 1080p, they're also able to crank it up all the way to 1920 frames in 1080p. These numbers definitely aren't normal, there are only a couple of phones that can do this, and Xiaomi is a brand known for crazy amounts of frames during slow motion. Lastly, macro. There's a special macro mode on the Xiaomi flagship, but the ones in the S23 Ultra and the Pixel 7 Pro are slightly better in terms of color and detail. The one on the Honor flagship is kind of inconsistent, giving varying results. Once again, we have reached the end of another camera comparison. The Honor Magic 5 Pro looks to be a very good camera phone, a huge improvement over their previous model with a way smaller sensor. They were the winners of the photo category, as ultra-wide was tied between them, Samsung, and Google. 
Portraits were taken by the S23 Ultra, but with a great performance, the Honor flagship was the winner of videos. Zoom obviously went the way of the Galaxy along with stabilization and the front camera. The Xiaomi 13 Pro had the best mic quality as well as the highest frames for slow motion. Lastly, macro was tied between the S23 Ultra and the Pixel 7 Pro. Do you guys agree or disagree with the results? What do you think about the newest Honor flagship? Leave your precious comments below and it will be very cool of you to like and subscribe to support us. See you in the next comparison.